The NX450H Plus may be the first plug-in hybrid Lexus, but it's been created with a greater wealth of engineering experience than has been devoted to any other mid-sized premium brand SUV segment rival. There's up to 47 miles of all-electric driving range, sharp looks and a sumptuous cabin. It's a strong contender. It's rather confusing that Lexus has never brought us a plug-in hybrid before the NX450 Plus plug-in model we're looking at here. After all, the brand has championed hybrid engines for the last decade and in 2020 even brought us a full EV, the UX300e. But never a petrol plug-in until this car, despite all the relevant tech being on offer to the company through parent conglomerate Toyota. Given that kind of build-up, you'd hope for something pretty special from this petrol-electric plug-in NX, and on paper, the signs seem quite promising. This is the second-generation NX design. It's 95% completely new, and there's a completely different level of interior quality on offer. The Germans need to take this one seriously. As with any other NX, including the previous one, there's a 2.5-litre four-cylinder, normally aspirated petrol engine under the bonnet, paired up to an electric motor on the front axle, while another separate motor powers the rear. What's different here is that there's a much bigger battery powering those motors. It's 18.1 kilowatt hours in size, which Lexus claims can give you up to 47 miles of all-electric range. And there's the usual Lexus Shiftmatic Auto gearbox. You can expect refinement to be exemplary and performance to be more than ample. 62 miles an hour takes 6.3 seconds, providing you avoid the drive mode systems normal and eco modes and select sport. This Mark II NX will handle the turns better thanks to a stiffer body shell, a 20 millimeter lower center of gravity, better weight balance and increased track width at each end. All of this, along with the Mark II NX model's 30% stiffer GAK chassis, has enabled the engineers here to deliver what the brand calls its Lexus driving signature, a supposedly ideal combination of comfort and handling dynamics apparently honed by professional racing drivers. With so much power on tap, you don't need to work the four-cylinder engine as hard as you would in the lesser NX350H self-charging hybrid version of this car, so there's less mooing from the CVT auto gearbox when you flex your right foot. Don't expect a whole lot of steering feedback, but there's exemplary refinement, just as you'd expect from a Lexus. Unless you spot the different badging or the extra charging flap of this NX450H+, Plus, there's very little to clue your neighbours into the fact that you've bought a plug-in Lexus hybrid. This second-generation NX has taken the styling themes established with the brand's smaller UX crossover and interpreted them into a slightly larger size, with various cues from the first-generation NX model. Owners of the original car might notice and find familiarity with the complex side surfacing and the kick-up around the rear C-pillar, and might also notice that this Mark II NX is quite a lot larger than its predecessor. The overall length is 4,660 millimetres, making this car only about two centimetres shorter than an Audi Q5. The front looks suitably prestigious, the hallmark Lexus spindle grille offering an intricate mesh pattern made up of three-dimensional U-shaped blocks. It's flanked on higher-grade variants by these four projector LED headlights, each unit incorporating 11 LED chips with light output controlled by a forward camera. At the rear, there's a neat tailgate arrangement that sees the rear lamps adopt a slim wraparound signature over the rear bodywork. As in all second-generation NX models, under the skin is the same GAK chassis used in the Toyota RAV4. 
Inside, the cabin of the 450H Plus is, of course, pretty much the same as that of the self-charging 350H version, save for the addition of some extra hybrid drive buttons. The interior is much improved over the first generation NX with bigger screens which no longer operate using the much criticised previous touchpad system. The standard centre screen offering Lexus Link Connect is 9.8 inches in size and alternatively there's the top 14 inch Lexus Link Pro setup. Around the cabin there's the brand's latest Tazona cockpit design with its high quality materials and a dashboard that curves towards the driver's seat. Lexus has also introduced touch-sensitive buttons on the steering wheel. The back seat offers class competitive space for two adults and the low centre transmission tunnel might mean you could fit three in at a pinch. Impressively, boot capacity doesn't suffer with the PHEV installation. In fact, the 525 litre total is four litres more than you'd get in an NX 350H. With the rear seats folded, there's 1,436 litres. This 450H Plus plug-in variant meets the needs of those who want a little more power and EV driving range from their NX. For that, you'll need to allow another £9,000 in your budget over the cost of an ordinary NX 350H self-charging model. And think in terms of that outlay starting from at least around £51,000. Because for a 450H Plus, you have to have E4 four-wheel drive systems and you can't have the latest expensive version of the NX trim package. That means NX 450H Plus customers will be choosing between premium pack and premium plus pack versions of NX spec in the 51 to 57,000 pound bracket or plusher F Sport and Takumi variants in the 58 to 61,000 pound bracket. It's a Takumi 450H Plus model that we have here. You do at least get lots of equipment for that, including the latest Lexus multimedia platform that meets customer priorities for fast, intuitive onboard connectivity. It introduces smart services, including a cloud-based navigation system via the car's data connection module, or DCM, and this provides real-time journey information and traffic updates without using up the customer's data plan. There's also a new Hey Lexus assistant, which responds to natural voice commands, as if you are conversing with the car. This second generation NX was Lexus's first model to feature the third generation of Lexus Safety System Plus, equipping it as standard with a comprehensive package of active safety and driver assistance features. These include further expansion of the brand's pre-collision system capabilities so that motorcycles and some solid objects in the car's path, such as trees, walls and utility poles, can be detected. It also gains a new function that identifies collision risks with oncoming traffic or crossing pedestrians when making a turn at a junction. And with these developments, the pre-collision system can recognise and help to avoid 36% more accident scenarios than previously. We mentioned this NX 450H Plus model's all-electric driving range earlier, up to 47 miles. And Lexus quotes a combined cycle fuel reading that, of course, takes this into account. 256.8 to 313.8 mpg. In comparison, an NX 350H all-wheel drive model is rated at 130 to 146 grams per kilometre. That's a BIK rating of between 32 and 34%. Battery replenishment from a standard 7.4 kilowatt garage wall box takes two and a half hours. And you can set charging times by using the provided Lexus Link app, which also allows you to set charging schedules according to when the vehicle is next expected to be driven or when energy prices are low. Via this app, you can also defrost the windows and either preheat or pre-cool the cabin before you reach the car so you won't have to spend climate system energy doing so once you're underway. The Lexus Link app additionally allows NX 450H Plus owners to check battery charge and driving range and find public charging stations in the Lexus charging network. There are about 160,000 of them across Europe with around 30,000 of those in the UK. 
As for after sales, there's the usual three-year vehicle warranty, which you can extend by a further year with every service at a Lexus dealer, up to a maximum of 10 years. There's also a five-year or 100,000-mile cover on drivetrain defects. We don't really understand why it's taken Lexus so long to bring us a plug-in hybrid. The window for this technology will close over the next few years as full EVs with longer ranges become the norm. But right here, right now, a PHEV makes a lot of sense. And in this NX 450H+, Plus, Lexus has brought us one of the very best in its segment. It's ambitiously priced for an SUV of this size, but most of its classmates are too. And inside this NX, you can at least see and feel where the money's been spent. That cabin might well sell you this car in contrast to the previous generation NX, where the opposite was often true. So might the stats that go with the plug-in hybrid tech. There's plenty to like here.